I want you to meet the greatest footballer of all time. He is 99 in every single stat, including goalkeeping stats. He is perfectly flawless, but what are we going to call him? Okay, we have a random name generator. We'll do all categories. Okay, let's go. Idwell Borja. Okay. Hardy Bellarofontes. No. Okay, what type of character should we make him? Great leader. Birth year, 2005. Popularity, fairly popular, I guess. All right, here we go. Okay. I like Harrison Stewart. Okay. Okay, let's go with Harrison Stewart. There we go. He's the number nine, and he is going to start his career at the number one team in the world. He is going to go and play for Real Madrid. He can start up front alongside Vinicius. He was born December 31st, the youngest we can possibly make him, so he can make his career as long as possible. He's going to win so many trophies. It is unbelievable. Let's get into it. So if we go in and check him out, there he is, 99 everything, five-star skill moves. <laughs> Every single play style plus. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. Look at his hexagon up in the top right. It's completely full. Harrison Stewart. What a baller. If we go here. He's the highest rated player and he's 17 years old. His value is 297 million, which makes no sense. He's literally like the GOAT. I wonder if he can win the Ballon d'Or in his first season. Let's see. And did he win the Ballon d'Or? Oh my god. He's already won the Ballon d'Or. 17 years old. Why did I give him pink hair and a pink beard. So stupid. He's literally a pro club's character, but he's better than Pele. 99 everything in his first year. The GOAT. How many records can he break? Let's go to the end of the year and find out. And here is Harrison Stewart. Stats 20. What? Is that it? All of them goals. And Hosselu still outscores you. That's embarrassing. Oh my God. All those stats. All those stats. He's better than Prime Pele. And Hosselu still scores more in his first season. It's okay. He's young. He's 18 years old. He's still got time. Bellingham with 20 goals as well. Because Vinicius just isn't playing, which is dumb. In the standings, Real Madrid are top three points clear with a game in hand but they did lose the Supercopa and the Copa de España as well and Olympic Marseille knocks out the GOAT Harrison Stewart will he actually be better than the greatest of all time Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo depending on your opinions let's finish out this La Liga season they got a draw against Cadiz and against Granada they get a win Alaves is a draw as well they've opened the door for Atletico they do beat Villarreal though so going into the last game of the season they've dropped four points and they are clear they have won La Liga by a six point lead going into the final weekend can they get a result against against Betis, a 3-2 win. And this is how the season ends. By the way, Harrison Stewart is the Real Madrid captain at 18 years old. He's the captain, 26 and 13 on the year. So he almost caught Hozalu, but he didn't quite do it. He is ridiculous. What a man. This guy's literally the greatest player of all time, and he still couldn't get through the Champions League, like round of 16 or quarterfinals or whatever. That is simply horrendous. The World Cup is coming up in two years, though. England are going to be good. They tend to just keep getting better, England. So we'll see how they do by the end. But let's go to the Ballon d'Or and see if Harrison Stewart can go back to back. Ballon d'Or nominees are in Vinicius, Mbappe, Erling Haaland and the pink haired Messi, Harrison Stewart, except he's better than Messi. He's better than everyone by far. Messi's highest rating on FIFA ever was 94. Harrison Stewart comes into the game as a 99 overall and as a result, he wins two Ballon d'Ors back to back. There we go. Harrison Stewart, a two-time Ballon d'Or winner at 18 years old. But just how many Ballon d'Ors can he physically win? My guess would be... I'm going to say 16. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah, okay. I'm going to say 16 Ballon d'Or. I was going to say 17. I think he'll double what Messi won because he's already won two. That's the thing. So like he could win until he's 34. No, he could win beyond that though. 18 to 34 would be 16 Ballon d'Ors plus the two he's already got would be 18. He's going to win more than 16 Ballon d'Ors. I'm going to go with 18. I think he's going to win 18 Ballon d'Ors. That's my guess. Put your guesses in the comments, please. I do want to read them. I'm just interested. How far do you think we can push FIFA? And to my shock and horror, Real Madrid are in the Europa League. This is ridiculous. Stewart up front, 30 and 15. Okay, that's a bit more like it. Yeah, maybe as he gets older, he'll start scoring more goals. But he has got a new strike partner. Yusufa Mukoko, 20 years old. One of the FIFA simulation goats. He's going to go alongside Harrison Stewart now. And yeah, Stewart was the top scorer at the club. And he had the most assists from up front. He's the most valuable player at Real Madrid. He's the most valuable player in the world. He won the Ballon d'Or, for goodness sake. And he's just turned 19. I still can't get over all of these play styles. But they're still 
still second in La Liga and they have Galatasaray in the Europa League. It's ridiculous. They're 15 points off Atletico Madrid. They didn't win the Supercopa or the Copa de España and they get bounced in the group stage. Yeah, they got bounced in the group stage by Leipzig and Sporting Lisbon. That's so bad. Well, I guess we just simmer the Europa League, right? Away leg against Galatasaray. Manchester United couldn't beat them and Real Madrid can't either. It's a one-all draw. The Galatasaray team is just simply not good enough compared to this Real Madrid team. Can Real Madrid still get through anyway? Yeah, barely. A 3-2 win. Actually, Stewart scores in the 89th minute just to get them through. And we go on to the Europa League final against Liverpool. And here we go into Stewart's second season. He's already in a European final, but it's not the big one. It is the Europa League, but he will push to try and win it anyway. And they don't. Liverpool win 3-1. McAllister, Pedro and Sabaslai with the goals. Stewart does score though in the final, but it's not enough. After going 3-0 down, he gets a goal. It's too little too late. And he already loses a European final, but he will be in the Champions League again next year. So he will have a chance to win Europe's biggest trophy. He still hasn't won it yet though. I thought he'd have more of an impact on this team than he's actually having. It's kind of poor to be honest. I am also going to make Vinicius position a striker because when he plays left wing for Real Madrid, they just leave him on the bench. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to put him up front. But before we continue, I want to introduce you all to the transfer wheel. We will spin this wheel every time he wins a trophy. And if he does land on the transfer wheel, we go to this wheel of all of the biggest clubs in Europe. Whichever one it lands on, he will get a transfer to. However, we're not able to spin this wheel yet. It is locked because we can't spin it until we win the Champions League. Let's go. Hopefully, Harrison Stewart can win the Champions League so he unlocks the ability to move away from Real Madrid. Okay, Ballon d'Or nominees are there. Harrison Stewart is there alongside Aussie men, Cedric Sanders and Erling Haaland. Who the hell is Cedric Sanders? Cedric Sanders, 20 years old, 87 rated. Damn, he's good. Maybe Harrison has a bit of a competition here. Is the Ballon d'Or going to be a formality once again? Yes, it is. Thank goodness. Okay, every time the Ballon d'Or comes up, I do get a little bit nervous, but I should really expect him to win. Harrison Stewart is a three-time Ballon d'Or winner by the age of 19. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Heading into year three with Real Madrid, no Champions League animation, which means they've been knocked out again. This time, oh my God, in February, they got knocked out. That is horrendous. Round of 16 of the Champions League into Milan, knock Real out. All that Champions League pedigree, and it's been absolutely wasted so far. But still, the boy, Harrison Stewart, is here. Just turned 20. What about his stats? How is he doing? 35 and 15. There we go. 50 in 49 games is ridiculous. Vinicius with the most assists, but Harrison Stewart with the most goals. Kevin De Bruyne is here as well, as well as Destiny Udoji. Gabriel Magalhaes. Trent Alexander-Arnold is here too. John Stones. Nicholas Schuler off the bench. That's pretty funny. That's a nice mishmash there for Real Madrid. So what you do is you play Camavinga there and you play De Bruyne there and that midfield is ridiculous. You play John Stones at centre-back and how the hell did this team not win the Champions League? It's so good. And with Stewart up front, captain by the way, you'd expect it to happen. Oh yeah, by the way, in case you can't tell on the right-hand side, Stewart is six foot seven, and uh, he's as big as I could possibly make him. So he is massive and you physically cannot stop him. Worst comes to worst, we can put him in nets anyway. Real Madrid are 10 points off Atletico at the top of the La Liga. Yeah, no Supercopa or Copa de España or transfer for Stewart either. Harrison Stewart is absolutely livid and he's right to be. But actually before swimming out, we could have a battle for second place between Barca and Real Madrid. We can watch Stewart in his very first El Clasico. This is the Barcelona team, Garnacho and Uñal there. But the Real Madrid team is also extremely strong. Let's watch it and see how Harrison Stewart does in real time. And here we go for Harrison Stewart tipping off from the center circle. He's kind of hard to miss with all that pink going on. A three time Ballon d'Or winner and he's just turned 20. Can he beat Barcelona to finish second in La Liga? Great move by Valverde down the right hand side into Jude Bellingham. Into Stewart. Here we go. Look at all those play styles in the bottom right. Back to Bellingham. Bellingham to Valverde. There's a shot here for Valverde off the post already for Real Madrid. What a start. Of course, the World Cup is coming up. It is 2026. And of course, Harrison Stewart will represent England. Can he replicate 1966? 60 years on. Great ball into the box. Cleared well by Magalhaes. Romeo to Araujo, to De Jong, to Pedri, to Unal. What a move. What a finish. Unal with the goal. Barcelona with the lead. And now Harrison Stewart has to reply. He's 99 rated, the best player of all time. But he needs to do it when his team needs him the most. And that Barcelona move was absolutely... Absolutely excellent. Real Madrid haven't put together a passage like that, but the game is still very fresh. Loads of time left. Real Madrid have the opportunity to come back. Into De Bruyne. De Bruyne to Vinicius. Vinicius ball rolling. Vinicius into Stewart with the shot. And there's the equalizer. Straight away, Stewart goes to grab the ball. Harrison Stewart wants more goals. Mate, he is literally just a pro club's character. It's so funny, but he is the best player of all time. Look at this, by the way. Gets the ball. 
touch really good. Hits it first time. I don't know how he got that much power from a standing position. That was ridiculous. What a finish from Stewart. And it's one all. Unyal sets off Dembele. And here comes Usman Dembele down the right wing. Real Madrid looking sparse in defense here. Dembele has to run away from this defender. Into De Jong though. Is there space? There is. Unyal on the ball. Similar position to last time. Brilliant save from Courtois. Harrison Stewart on the ball. Hey. Nah, okay. To be fair, that was a really good tackle from Romeo. Great ball to Usman Dembele. He's not going to get there. And it's half time in this game. Maybe the referee blew it up a little bit early there. Usman Dembele may have got through. But either way, one all in the game. Great game so far and Harrison Stewart with a goal of his own and here we go into the second half of the Camp Nou it's not really the Camp Nou but you know it's close enough Dembele Dembele to Unal oh can't play it through and now here comes Stewart Stewart with the tech lovely into Bellingham Bellingham through to Vinicius Vinicius beats his man it's Vinicius with the pace it's got to be a goal brilliant finish from Vinicius what a move to get around the last man Real Madrid take a 2-1 lead even when they have the best player of all time Vinicius still comes up trumps great finish as well edge of the box Ooh, right in the corner to Stegen had no chance Bremer was left in the dust Real Madrid is finding a way to put a foot in Stewart great ball through to Vinicius Vinicius lets it run it's Vinicius bearing down on goal can he make it three what a finish at the near post again Vinicius with a brace Harrison Stewart with a goal and an assist as well what a game for Real Madrid 3-1 now in the Camp Nou Ter Stegen left backing off from Vinicius he had no chance Vinicius is so good in front of goal and Real Madrid take a commanding lead looks like they're taking second in the table and it looks like Stewart's going into the world Cup with a bit of momentum behind his back. Gabriel to Stewart. Here comes Harrison Stewart holding off his man. Look. Oh my god. He's so clunky. He's so clunky, but he's got moves. Oh! Oh my god. He's gone. Great ball into the box. Oh, good save from Ter Stegen. Second ball. Good clearance. Oh my god. What a run from Valverde. Trying to Alexander is going to continue it. Can he find the man in the middle? Great ball into the box. De Bruyne! What a finish. Trent Alexander Arnold whips it in. De Bruyne with an Excellent finish. Great technique from the Belgian. And it's 4 1 to Real. They are running right against Barcelona. Why couldn't they play like this in the Champions League? This is so stupid. Anyway, Real Madrid 4 1 up. I want to re watch this goal because it was so nice. Clips it in right over the Barcelona defense. And De Bruyne catches it so clean. It's too fast for the camera to pick up. We'll get it from here though. Oh, okay. It's still off the screen. Brilliant. Thank you, EA. There we go. The game is over. 4 1 to Real. What a game. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant display. But it doesn't matter. They came second in La Liga. They got knocked out of the Champions League in the round of 16. They didn't win a single trophy this year, but we are up for the World Cup now. Harrison Stewart is going to start up front for England. Three time Ballon d'Or winner. Let's see if he can deliver on the international stage. All right. I've sacked off the hat because it's too itchy. But here's the England national team 90 fold and 99 shoes. Stewart and 90 Saka starting up front. Curtis Jones is starting in midfield with Bellingham and Declan Rice. In defense, Mark Gay is the captain. No, that's wrong. It's got to be Tamori. In nets, it's got to be Ramsdale. He's the highest rated. And Reese James can start left back. We'll make it work. This England team looks really good. Is there any way to get rid of Curtis Jones in the nicest way possible? We could start at James Madison, I guess. England's group for the World Cup is Romania, Qatar, and Denmark. That's the easiest World Cup group I have ever seen. <laughs> ever. That's ridiculous. Okay, Romania in the first game on the 18th is a 1-0 win. Qatar after that is a 3-1 loss. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not going to plan. Okay, what is going on? How are we looking okay they are third in the group they win this game against Denmark they're through if they draw this game against Denmark they should still be okay but it's not particularly convincing losing to Qatar can they beat Denmark no they lost are they out oh they could be out they could actually be out and thanks be to god england are through we're through to the round of 16 but we actually have to play denmark which is a team that beat us in the group stage and this is what the denmark team looks like they have hoyland up front ericsson starting in midfield still hoiberg at cdm and this is the might of the english national team minus jude bellingham crucially he's got a red card for this game so we have to start curtis jones because lord knows i'm not starting mason mount here we go quick sim come on boys can england get through no this 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 is a joke. This is a this is a joke. How? That team is so good. The England team is the best team. Surely. Sorry, I sound like the English media there. Jesus. Yeah, no, England lost to Denmark. Okay, yeah, Denmark just went off, man. They beat England twice. They might be having a fairy tale run. I need to keep an eye on them. But yeah, England are gone. Harrison Stewart in his first World Cup loses in the round of 16 after scraping through the group stage, ending up playing against Denmark and then losing in the round of 16. What a horrific World Cup for England. And for those of you that don't know, I am Irish. So I would kind of prefer if England did horrifically, but God, that's kind of disappointing for Harrison. And just to keep you all informed on who the 
the best national teams in the world are. Yeah, Denmark, they won the World Cup over Argentina. I don't know how that happened. Qatar made it to the semi-final. Okay, so we had two of the strongest teams in our group. It, it must have been, it must have been. And then Denmark win. Oh my God, what a run for Denmark. World champions, hold tight, Rasmus Hoyland. Anyway, let's go. Let's see if we can win four Ballon d'Ors on the bounce. I'm not even gonna check the nominees. I'm just gonna go straight to the awards. Ballon d'Or winner is announced. Is it gonna be our boy? Yes, it is. Harrison Stewart wins his fourth Ballon d'Or. And he's still not old enough to get into pubs on Friday nights because he's not 21, but he's a four-time Ballon d'Or winner, so I think they might just slip him through the back door. Please don't take that out of context. Anyway, Real Madrid are in the 2027 Champions League. Can they finally get to the semi-final like they should have been? And can we finally give Harrison a chance to move on with his career? Maybe go to another club and dominate another league. Okay, please. Yes, there we go. Champions League animation for Real Madrid. We're into the semi-finals at a bare minimum. Who do we have? Uh, Vinicius is gone. I don't know where he's gone, but he has left. Vinny Jr. is now a... <laughs> oh, God. That is hilarious. He's a Newcastle United player. He's gone to play with his best friends, Joe Linton and Bruno Guimaraes, who are the most rich football club on planet Earth in the north of England. But we have Manchester United in the Champions League semi-final. We knocked out Leipzig in the last round. Can we beat United? First game at home. This is the Man United team. Rashford, Hoyland and Palestri. Frankie de Jong also plays for them. Ex-Barcelona player. We are going to do our best to take them down. Can they beat Man United? A 1-0 win. Camavinga with the goal. Harrison Stewart doesn't get a goal. However, we move to the second leg. And of course, of course, we are going to watch it. 1-0 up. Away in Old Trafford. Real Madrid versus Manchester United. It doesn't get much bigger than this on the European stage. Here we go. Champions League semi-final. Harrison Stewart takes the tip off and we are in Old Trafford for the biggest European night other than the Champions League final. Second leg of the semi-final. Back into Arribas. Can Arribas find a good pass? Back to Camavinga. Camavinga to Arribas. Arribas, brilliant pass to Harrison Stewart with the shot. Big save from Onana. Starting strong at Real Madrid. Great ball into the box. Good volley. Blocked well. Second shot. Brilliant save from Onana. That was insane. Did you see that? Look at this. So he saves one. And then the second shot comes in. He reaches back. Oh, that's ridiculous. What a stop from Onana. Palestri. Oh, brilliant run from Palestri down the right wing. He's still got it, Palestri. Is he going to swing it in or is he going to cut it back? He's going to cut back to De Jong. De Jong into Hoyland with a shot. Good save from Courtois. Cancelo back to De Bruyne. The two Man City players linking up and beautifully as well. Cancelo. Great pass into a rebass. Another great save from Onana. It's offside though. Great ball from Bruno Fernandes over to Palestri. Palestri beats his man inside. Palestri into Hoyland, into De Jong. Good tackle. A lot of X-Man City players playing for this Real Madrid team, by the way. John Stones, Kevin De Bruyne, and Cancelo as well. Playing through Lois Appenda. He's got pace. Can he burn his man? Yes, he can. Lois Appenda. He's through on goal. Bearing down on Onana. Can Appenda put it away? Puts it into the top corner. I think Onana got a hand to it, but it wasn't enough. And Lois Appenda makes it 2-0 on aggregate. 1-0 on the night in Manchester. If there's any team that can come back from a deficit like this though it might just be Manchester United I wouldn't write them off yet but Real Madrid looking very strong for the Champions League final great move from Lois Appenda and it's 2-0 to Real Madrid and that was a final act of the first half right on the stroke of halftime Appenda scores and it's 1-0 going into the break Sancho on the ball great pass to Serginho Dest and here come Man United once again it's Dest can he set anyone back into Frankie de Jong it's de Jong around the last man great save from Courtois can Man United keep the ball yes they can Marcus Rashford to Fernandez. Fernandez, great block from Magalhaes now here we go Penda. Can he play through Stewart? Yes, he can. Here we go. Harrison Stewart bearing down on goal. What a save from Onana again. Harrison Stewart just can't score, but I don't even think it's his fault. I think Onana is just having a stormer. De Bruyne holds off his man running out the clock. Real Madrid will go through to the Champions League final, but can they get one more goal to cement it? Great pass. Oh, that was so nice. And he picks up the rebound. Okay, a bit, bit lucky there at the end, but a brilliant passing goal to get through. A rebound hits the post, comes straight back out to Openda, and Openda makes no mistake. 3-0 to Real Madrid on aggregate. The score Scoreline implies dominance. Don't really think it was like that. But Lois Appenda finishes Manchester United for real. Real Madrid will play a Champions League final. The only question is, who will they play against? And there we go. Lois Appenda with the goal in the 45th and the 90th minute. And Real Madrid win the Champions League semi-final. On the first try, Harrison Stewart gets through to a Champions League final. The pink hair and the pink beard were too much for Manchester United. Let's find out. It's going to be Man City or Juventus. So they've already beaten one Manchester club. Are they going to have to go out and beat another one? Yes, they are. Champions League final on the 5th of June will be against Man City, but before then, they are doing how well in La Liga. They are top, nine points clear with four games to go. Also, Atletico Madrid, 
3-1 in the Supercopa. In the Copa de España, they lose to Villarreal. Still haven't won a domestic cup in Spain, but they're in the Champions League final, for goodness sake. So I think we can let them off. They could do a League and Cup double here. Let's see if they can close out the league. They should. A draw against Mallorca. A loss against Betis isn't great. Villarreal is also a loss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is a problem. Oh, never mind. They're six points clear. They're fine. And this Man City team makes me feel physically sick looking at it because it's so good. But this Real Madrid team as well, by the way, with the addition of Harrison Stewart, is really good. A rebass, despite being 78 rated, is actually a baller. He might be offside all the time, but he's really good at football. Everyone else is really good at football. They play for Real Madrid. Of course, they're good at football. Let's watch the Champions League final in the Estadio de SL Benfica, where me, Raman, I became the GOAT in one of my last videos. Let's see if Harrison Stewart can also prove why he's the greatest of all time as well. I'm happy to share my throne. <laughs> and here we go into a chapel of football. Fatima is in far from here, a place of great religion, a place of great pilgrimage. And here is another one, the Estadio de SL Benfica for the Champions League final. Manchester City versus us, Real Madrid. Erling Haaland versus the four-time Ballon d'Or winner, Harrison. And this is it, Real Madrid wearing the black, Manchester City wearing their famous light blue. It all comes down to this. Harrison Stewart is a Champions League finalist. Can he be a winner? Can he lift that beautiful Champions League trophy? Jao Cancelo on the ball, sets back John Stones. Teammates with Man City and now teammates with Real Madrid. De Bruyne here as well. It's a lot of the old Man City cast now playing for Real Madrid. White White to Alexander-Arnold, an enemy of Manchester City with Liverpool. Can he do anything here? Into Appenda, into Stewart. Oh, good tackle from Ruben Diaz. And that almost should have been for Harrison Stewart. Not quite though, played really poorly out to Kirkes. Great tackle from Camavinga. And now Real Madrid move out and Diaz sweeps up. Ruben Diaz having a great start to the Champions League final but a great press from Stewart and he's won it back here comes Harrison Stewart the pressure from the Real Madrid captain and he skips by Harrison Stewart he's still going Stewart sets back Valverde Valverde to Camavinga Real Madrid looking good here Man City settled into their low block and rebounds with the shot and a rebounds with the goal Real Madrid go 1-0 up in the Champions League final what a finish from a rebounds but that all came from that pressure from Harrison Stewart I mean he does have 99 standing tackles so of course he's going to win it back but that is excellent play from the GOAT the Real Madrid captain he's like prime Messi combined with prime Ronaldo combined with like prime Zidane plus prime Maldini plus like prime Yashin he is omnipotent he is everywhere he is unstoppable and he has pink hair. <laughs> Why does I give him pink hair? It just makes him a lot less serious. Great ball into the box though. Haaland gonna reply! What a finish from Erling Haaland. He really reminiscent to De Bruyne's goal in the semi-final. But Erling Haaland makes it one all. What a finish from the Norseman. Brilliant play from Erling Haaland. Gets it out to Admaz Rawi. Gets it out to Masrawi. Back to Bakayoko. Chance here for Man City. Bakayoko got a shot off there. I don't know how he did it. Good save from Courtois. Magalhaes back into Courtois. Courtois, oh, risky on the ball from Courtois. He picked it up in the end, and they call for half time, but oh, he got away with that one, did Courtois. That's brilliant pressure from Manchester City. Bakayoko causing more havoc than that right wing. He is such a threat to Manchester City. Here we go, into Erling Haaland. Haaland, brilliant save from Courtois. No one's going to get the seconds. Real Madrid can play out. Oh, goodness me, Haaland coming close again. Back to John Stones, into Camavinga, into De Bruyne. Back to Camavinga. One touch football here. Brilliant play into Harrison Stewart. Chance for two. He doesn't shoot. He doesn't shoot. Almost goes in anyway. Good save from Ederson. Peroni. Peroni on the ball on the edge of the box. Is he going to play someone through into Bakayoko causing havoc against Real Madrid? Great shot from Kovacic. Puts it in at the near post. Man City take a 2-1 lead. This is not looking good. Harrison Stewart is 2-1 down in the Champions League final. The goat of goats. The pink hair. The mane we could call it is not doing enough quite yet. There he is watching as the ball flies into the back of the net. That is horrendous. And he needs a goal. He needs to bring this back for his team. He is the captain of Real Madrid and he needs to prove why he's earned that armband at such a young age. He's won the Ballon d'Or four times, but he's won no major silverware, no Champions Leagues and no World Cups either, and he needs it for his legacy. And it's not looking good on this attempt for him. Into Appenda, into Stewart, here we go. Can he win it back? Can he nick a goal? Stewart holding off his man, into Arribas. Great pass to Valverde. Valverde with a shot! Blocked by Stewart. I'm pretty sure he got in the way of that shot. What are you doing? Kovacic, brilliant pass to Erling Haaland. Haaland sets in Javi Simon. Simon's with the shot. Good save from Courtois. That would have been the end of the game. Stewart on the ball. Don't lose it here. Whatever you do. Plays back to John Stones. Back into Harrison Stewart. Here we go. Stewart's going to go around the outside. Harrison Stewart holds off his man. He's running away. Where are you going? What are you doing? You're losing the Champions League final. There's a minute left of added time and you're playing it back to your goalkeeper. Get up the pitch. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. He completely threw that game away. That was his fault, right? That was completely his fault. And then passing it back to your keeper at the end of the... What? I don't know. I don't know. 
He absolutely bottled that. Maybe that's a sign of his maturity. I don't really know. But that was horrendous from Harrison Stewart. Really, really, really poor. And Man City are going to be the Champions League winners. Harrison Stewart falls short in the biggest game of his career. Ballon d'Or winner. Is he going to win it again? Yeah, he does. What's that? Five Ballon d'Ors now. The video will keep counts because I may well lose track. Although, to be fair, he's won the Ballon d'Or every year. Three, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That's his fifth Ballon d'Or. Back with Real Madrid for the next season. Stewart is still here and still the captain. But I feel like we're just losing players left, right and center. For example, we've lost Gabriel Magalhaes and John Stones. They're both gone. But Harrison Stewart is still here. Now 22 years old. Getting a bit older now. 32 and 12 on the year. 44 and 46 ridiculous stuff is he the top scorer in la liga yeah he is oh my god he's not oh my god so penda is how so a penda is better than a maxed out 99 everything striker that makes so much sense thank you yeah a penda 38 goals and zero assists oh my god very selfish that's hilarious anyway standings wise yeah the top six points clear of villarreal in second they did win the super copa finally no copa de españa though still they still haven't won the copa de españa they got knocked out in the round of 32 to rail of Oviedo, that's horrendous. And they're not in the Champions League either. They got knocked out by Leipzig, which is a Penda's old club, on penalties. And the team that they actually beat in last year's quarterfinals. So Leipzig getting revenge on both Openda and Real Madrid as a club. They're going to win La Liga most likely. We'll sim it out anyway, just to be sure. They do have Barcelona, which they could win La Liga against. Girona is a draw. Deportivo. Alaves is a win. Almeria is a win. And Barcelona is a win for Real Madrid. They are going to win the La Liga title, but we'll finish it out against Atletico anyway. It's a draw. And they are the La Liga champions by nine points. All right, I'm an idiot. Uh, I'd, I'd like to apologize. I've missed the Ballon d'Or. Yeah, I've missed the Ballon d'Or. Uh, normally it's in the first Monday of November, but if it's not the first Monday of November, it's like the 30th of October or the 31st of October. And uh, yeah, if we go to the news, it's just not here. I'm going to go under the assumption, which is fairly backed by evidence, that uh, we won the Ballon d'Or. So but yeah, we'll make it six. Apologies for missing the Ballon d'Or, but like, come on, he's going to win it. Okay, he's going to win it. And now up front with Stuart is Aubert, just a, a random auto-generated guy. De Bruyne is now old and terrible, but they do have Moretti from midfield they can edit a miller tau is back here okay that's cool i'm gonna say they could play in cdm but there's the jacobson guys playing there instead stewart is still definitely the best player on the team but there's no champions league animation so i don't think they made it stats 32 and 11 for the year 43 goal contributions and they're second in la liga 10 points behind barcelona granted with the game at hand but still the best they could do after that would be seven points still not great they win the supercopa and finally they win the Copa de España. it's about time champions league oh they are there and it's barcelona but they're 3-1 down okay we have to watch that an el clasico champions league semi-final in the new camp that would be an absolute war crime to not watch uh this has kind of gone wrong to be honest it's 5-2 to barcelona on an aggregate real madrid need three goals in 10 minutes and i'm not sure that's actually possible especially when barcelona are playing this well they do have militao back though which is a positive i guess but they're getting smashed in the champions league maybe harrison stewart will never win the champions league maybe he'll just stay at real madrid forever that would be quite sad i hope that doesn't happen and it's unlikely to happen but it's definitely a possibility oh boy barcelona are attacking again evan nilsson on the ball for barcelona cuts back to Fernandez, and that's the end of the game. Barcelona destroyed Real Madrid there. 5-2 on aggregate. They progress for a Champions League final, and Real Madrid have to wait another year. Horrific. Simply horrific from the boys up front, especially from Harrison, our boy. It's not good enough. And uh, he's not won the Champions League yet, somehow. I don't know how but he's not. And there we go. He's won the Ballon d'Or once again. Harrison Stewart has won the Ballon d'Or. He's never won the Champions League and he's never won the World Cup. And in 2030, he'll have a chance to win both. Horrific in the 2026 World Cup. In the last year's Champions League, he was embarrassed by his biggest rivals, Barcelona. He has vengeance to make up. He has debts to pay out. Let's see if he can follow through. Wee! Champions League animation for Real Madrid. Here we go. Harrison Stewart has a chance to redeem himself on the European stage. Come on. Here we go. This could be the one. This could really be the one. Who the they have in the Champions League. Who are they going to face? It's going to be Barcelona again. Here we go. Retribution. First leg is a 2 0 win. That's exactly what I want to see. They're so far in the lead. I'm just going to sim this out. They should be able to close this out. Real Madrid at home in the Champions League. Quick sim the game. Auto replace. And it should be okay. Close. But it's enough. 4 3 for Real Madrid. Stewart and Arribas with the goals. We're in the Champions League final again. Who are we going to be playing against? It's going to be Bayern Munich and Jamal Musiala. Here we go. Before we get there, though, let's have a quick look at the La Liga stats. They're fourth, so a bad season domestically for Real Madrid. I guess they focused on the Champions League, although they still could theoretically win the La Liga title. Real Madrid win the Supercopa, but Albafete Ballon 
PA. Go with that. They won the Copa de España. I don't know how. Barcelona win the Super Cup. And there we go. Real Madrid versus Bayern in the Champions League final. But for Harrison Stewart, another great season, I hope. Yeah, 27 and 14. 41 contributions in 50 games. He was the top scorer and he was the top assister for the team as well. And he will lead them to a Champions League final against Bayern Munich on the 8th of June. The latest Champions League date physically possible in FIFA, I think. And this is the Bayern Munich team. Jamal Musiala is there starting at Cam. Colin Moani up front. Garnacho on the wing. Konate in defence. But for Real Madrid, this is the talent that they have. Arribas is not starting. El Canus is. Just making sure this Real Madrid team is right. And I believe it is. Here we go. Let's go to tactical view. In Old Trafford, where Real Madrid have had joy before, it's Real versus Bayern Munich. One of the strongest teams in Europe. Can Harrison Stewart close out his first Champions League title against Bayern in Old Trafford? And here we go. Real Madrid versus Bayern. Bayern Munich wearing the away kit and Real Madrid wearing their famous white strips. Musiala can run the play. Brilliant pass to Shula. Can Shula get through? Into Tariq Lamptey starting right back for Bayern Munich in the Champions League final. To Shula, to Musiala! What a save from Courtois. Here he is, player to watch. Harrison Stewart, six foot seven, 253 pounds, which is like, what, 115, 120 kg? And it's pure muscle. The man is a beast. Harrison Stewart, great pass to Albert with a shot. Good save from Diogo Costa for the first chance for Real Madrid in this game. And Harrison Stewart, despite being 6'7", 253 pounds, is on the corners. This is like Harry Kane taking corners for England in 2016. Why is he taking them? This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Better be a good delivery. I suppose it will be. Ah, never mind. Lawrence into Colomwani. Colomwani with a shot. Good save from Courtois. Fairly cagey first half. Best chance of the first half actually coming from Jamal Musiala right at the start of the game. And that's going to be that. Nil-nil at half time. What a game of football it has been. Really intense Champions League final. I mean, it is in Old Trafford and that is an arena. It swallows you up and spits you straight back out again. Real Madrid and Bayern adjusting to it, but they have adjusted to it now, heading into the second half. They've played a half of Champions League final football. Great tackle already from Shula. Peltier on the ball into Lawrence. Lawrence, great pass to Musiala. Into Lawrence again. Back to Garnacho. Great touch. Shula with a shot. Good save from Courtois. Lamptey on the ball. Lamptey sets in Musiala. Big chance for Musiala. And he puts it in at the near post. You already know what's coming. Jamal Musiala makes it 1-0 to Bayern Munich. And Real Madrid once again need to come back in a Champions League final. They didn't do it last time. Can they do it this time? Real Madrid ramping up the pressure now. Albert on the ball. Great pass into Moretti. Pulling out their centre-backs. Moretti skips by. Moretti into Valverde. Valverde with a shot. Good block into Jakobsen. To Moretti. Moretti. Moretti to Stewart, back to Moretti, Valverde now on the ball. Real Madrid playing Tiki Taka almost, into Moretti, chance for Moretti, can he put it away? What a finish for Moretti, Real Madrid slap back immediately. They just turned up the notch, went to another gear, and now it's one all in this final. What a finish from Moretti. And now there's 16 minutes to decide the Champions League winner. Will it finally be Harrison Stewart? Martinelli going around the outside. He's going to pass the ball. He's got to. Great ball into the box. Good clearance. Now Real Madrid are going to try and break. Are they? Oh, that's not a good tackle. But Albert's going to play on. Into Stewart. Back to Valverde. Valverde plays through Gusto. And here comes Real Madrid. One minute of normal time to go. Real Madrid. Can they snatch this game? Can they win the Champions League? Please keep going. Into Gusto. Marine with a header. Marine. Again, not quite. And we're going to extra time. Oh my God. I thought that was going to be it. I thought Harrison Stewart was going to score the winner there. Not quite. We're going to extra time. And the intensity is through the roof. Oh my God. There's no roof on Old Trafford, but if there was, it would be lifted. And now Martinelli surging down the right wing, tries to drift by Marine. Martinelli cuts inside. Anyone on the edge of the box he can set. Martinelli into Lawrence, into Musiala. Musiala with a turn. Good save from Courtois. Musiala coming close again. Can Valverde find anyone? Into Gusto, the right back, into Stewart. Harrison Stewart just freezes oh my god he's just choking he's choking the man has no bottle at all he's working back though he's angry he wants the ball back at least he's showing a bit of character finally and there we go half time of extra time what an intense first half we've had harrison stewart with a chance but he just froze he didn't even take it just panicked the game's being played in bayern munich's half now into gusto gusto trying to work his way around the outside great ball into the box it's not going to be won by anyone bayern munich are going to clear it into fofana this game looks like penalties to me Unless Real Madrid can snatch it. Valverde. Oh, he does go around the outside. Can he get through? Carnate gets the foot in. Martinelli to Davies. Davies out to Garnacho. Garnacho now. Can Bayern Munich steal this? Surely not. It's a Martinelli. Oh, good save from Courtois. Almost. Really almost from Martinelli at Bayern Munich. And they do have a corner. They have an opportunity to win this. Surely they're not going to steal it this late. On the head. Well won. Second chance. Oh, my God. It's Alfonso Davies. The scrappiest goal. I have ever seen. 
and Bayern Munich are going to win the Champions League. I thought this was going to penalties. I thought it was destined for penalties. But Bayern Munich and Alfonso Davies with the scrappiest corner I have ever seen. So what happens? It gets whipped in. Yeah, okay, so Militao wins the header, but by winning the header, he's chipped it over his keeper who's dived, and he's left Alfonso Davies with a wide open net. Gusto has got to clear that, by the way. That is so poor from Gusto. And it flies into the net, and there is nothing Harrison Stewart can do about it. Bayern Munich are going to be the Champions League winners in 2030. And that's it. Stewart with the last touch of the game, and Bayern Munich are Champions League winners. So Harrison Stewart is 0-2 in Champions League finals. He's made two of them, and he's lost them both. Horrendous. Really poor. We don't need to see the trophy celebrations. We can just skip it. None of our business. We move to the World Cup of 2030. I'm absolutely gutted. I'm actually disappointed. Normally, I don't have that much personal attachment to these players, but since I actually made this player myself, Harrison Stewart, I kind of feel bad. I feel, feel kind of bad for him, to be honest. I really wanted to succeed, but he hasn't won anything major. No Champions Leagues and no World Cups. And he lost the Champions League final, but he has a chance in the World Cup now. Northern Ireland, Croatia, and we don't know. Oh, yeah. Northern Ireland, Croatia, and Argentina in the World Cup group stage. That's not an easy group at all. And this is the England team, by the way, and it's a decent England team. For whatever reason, though, Stewart is not starting instead of Tammy Abraham. God, those stats look ridiculous. 99 everything. And that's the midfield. Rice, Patino, and Bellingham. Mark Gay is the captain again, by the way. Rico Lewis starting at left back and Ramsdale in that. It's a very good England team once again. So let's go through these first two games. Northern Ireland on the 22nd is a draw. That's not good. Croatia is a 2-0 win. Okay, that's a bit more positive. I'm a bit more comfortable now. Argentina in the last game should be a win. They already have four points, so they should be okay. It's a draw. one all. But oh no. Oh no. They have France. That's a death sentence. France is an absolute death sentence. Look at that team. It's ridiculous. We're so screwed. Oh, we're so screwed. We're out, aren't we? Just tell me we're out. We are. Uh, yeah, okay. We're out. On penalties, to be fair. But yeah, we're gone. Round the 16 again. A bit more positive this time. But still not great. Mbappe scores. Harrison Stewart scores as well. But Matt Madison misses. And England are out on penalties to France. Shock horror. Who scores for England in the game? Harrison Stewart scores. Saliba scores for France. That's a weird one. And France progress as they do because France are really good at football and England are also quite good but not as good as France. So disappointment in the Champions League final and embarrassment in the World Cup again. Like losing to France isn't so bad but in the round of 16? Not great. It's really not great. Just a check of the Ballon d'Or. Yeah, we did win it again. What's that now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Ballon d'Ors. Yeah, Harrison Stewart won his eighth Ballon d'Or in a row. He's now Tidely and our Messi's Ballon d'Or record, and he's only like what 24. <laughs> so, yeah, a long way to go for him. But still, no team success really whatsoever. I mean, he's won all the trophies in Spain, but he's no Champions League, and that's what the currency of international or European success is anyway. And then World Cup, just disappointment after disappointment. So individually, yeah, he's great, but on a team level, he doesn't really stand out that much. Hey, back in the Champions League, just to lose in the semi-final or finals again. I hope not, anyway. But it's not <laughs> our record's not been too positive, so I kind of have no other feelings to really iterate. We have Barcelona again. Oh, this is a great sign. Home leg is a 3-1 loss. Excellent. So the last leg is a, a draw. Right, so right in the Champions League, just like that. It's never going to happen. It's just not going to happen, is it? We have the best player of all time. He's won eight Ballon d'Ors, and the man is like a child. He's 25. 24 and 13 on the years, 37 and 49. It's actually not that good, to be honest. For the guy who could literally do anything, you would expect a bit better. I'm kind of deflated, but they did win La Liga, or the top anyway at the moment. Barcelona I could catch them. Ibar win the Copa de España and this is the Champions League. Yeah, it's going to be Barcelona versus Bayern or Man City. So Bayern could go back to back, but I'm a little bit deflated to be honest. I feel a bit crap about this. Let's go to the last day of the La Liga season anyway. They beat Villarreal. They beat Girona. What about Sevilla? They do beat Sevilla. That's good. And then last day, Osasuna. Win to win the La Liga. They lose. And they've lost La Liga, right? Haven't they? Oh, no, they didn't. They won on goals four, right? Goals four? No. Wait, what? How did they win La Liga? They had a worse goal difference. They scored less goals. They conceded less goals. They lost more games. How did they win La Liga? I don't know how the La Liga works, to be completely honest. But they did it. Whatever it was, they, they, they did it. Okay, well done, Real Madrid. Hey, they won La Liga. I don't really care. Let's go to next year and see if he's finally good at football. Hey, 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 Ballon d'Or again. Come on, please. Yes, there we go. Nine Ballon d'Ors in the books. Lionel Messi's been overtaken. Harrison Stewart is the GOAT. Well, he's the GOAT by Ballon d'Ors. He's actually never won the Champions League, and he's like 26 now. So 
Liverpool could really do with a Champions League title or at least like a World Cup or something. Well, if you can't win the Champions League, you can go one higher and win the World Cup. But if he goes through his whole career without winning a single Champions League or the World Cup, then he would be the biggest bust in world football history. All that talent, all that skill, and he doesn't win a single major team trophy other than like the league, which is pretty poor. Back at Real Madrid, and it seems like they're just slowly getting worse. They have Militao, Valverde, and uh, Stewart, but that's kind of it. Like, okay, they have Elmas as well. He's kind of good, I guess. But like, they're lacking a lot of talent here, and I expect them to have a little bit of a better team. See, as a matter of fact, I think they do have a better team. They're just leaving them all on the bench for some reason. Harrison Stewart is 16 and 11. That's just bad. What? How? Top assists, yeah, sure, but like 27 contributions in 44 games for like a perfect player is just ridiculous. They're fifth in La Liga, barely making the Europa League spots. Valencia could overtake them and they could be in the Conference League next year. Amazing. They lost the Supercopa, they lost the Copa de España, no Super Cup, and they're not in the Champions League. Of course they're not in the Champions League. They lost to PSG in the round of 16. Champions League bottle jobs themselves. Real Madrid have one up them and bottled the bottle jobs. How have they done this? This might be the most embarrassing career simulation I have ever done. He is the best player, practically flawless, better than Messi at dribbling, better than Ronaldo at shooting, faster than, I don't know who's the fastest player, Alfonso Davies, he's pretty fast, and they're sixth in La Liga, and they're not going to get Europa League next season. They're four points off Atletico in fifth. Can they beat Valladolid? Yeah, 3-1-1 on the last day. Oh, whoop de doo They still didn't get Europa League. They get Conference League for next year. Amazing. That's it. There's nothing more I can do for this team. There's nothing more. We go again, we simulate next year, and we pray that they somehow do well enough in the Conference League that they can, fingers crossed, make the Europa League. Come on. Ballon d'Or winner. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, how has he broken his way into this as well? How? To be fair... Harrison Stewart, maybe not the best footballer on the planet after putting up average numbers last season. Erling Haaland, Ballon d'Or winner, breaks the streak of nine Ballon d'Ors. What was my guess? 18? 18 Ballon d'Ors? Oh yeah, I might be a bit off with that though. Haaland wins the Ballon d'Or. Wow. I'm actually bitter. I feel kind of bitter about this. This is horrific. All right. So if he can't win team awards, maybe he can win a Ballon d'Or? No. Erling Haaland takes that away from him as well. Please just win something good. Hey, Conference League. Here we go. They have Monza in the semi final final come on and guess what folks it looks like they're going back again next season they are sixth in la liga oh god i mean they could still sneak into the champions league places with a good end to the season real madrid wins the first game against monza they win the second as well in the conference league final they are going to play against who are they gonna play against nice okay they've done really well this month so far they win against osasuna which is a great result they're top of the league almost and they go flawless oh my god well they draw to Getafe, but they should be okay are they in the champions league next season they're third they are thank jesus real madrid are a champions league club again they're also conference league champions which is really cool i guess and they lost the europa league final which kind of sucks he could have done the european trifecta could have harrison but so much for that still here though 99 overall still really good at football uh 26 and 8 uh joint top scorer with alvaro from uruguay who's 81 rated top assist was elgif elmas from north macedonia good one yeah elgif and the top scorer this season in la liga turns out to be ansu fati for Barcelona. Barcelona. Our 99 rated player, sixth. That's horrendous. He's not even in the top five. Can we get redemption in the Ballon d'Or? Yes, we can. Harrison Stewart is a Ballon d'Or winner once again. That gives him what? How many Ballon d'Ors? Oh my God, I gotta do the math. 10. That's 10 Ballon d'Ors, I think. Yeah, right. Okay. He's on 10. Eight more and my prediction is correct. Remember as well, because he's 99 overall, his decline is going to be a lot more steady than other players. So he's going to be better for longer. He might even make the 2042 World Cup, but for this year, it'll be 2030 and he will be at his prime. Champions League? Oh, we actually are in the Champions League. 1-0 down to Bayern Munich, but we are there. I'm not going to jump into it too early. I don't want to have last season situation where we're just out of the Champions League straight after being in the semi-final. I don't want to kill all your hope like that. But this is the team now. Stuart is still here and still captain, still 99 everything. Let's see, has he actually decreased in any stats at all? It's not looking like he has and he has all of these playstyle plus. That's so funny. And this Real Madrid team is still really, really good. Although, to be fair, I feel like Harrison Stewart's kind of carrying the brunt of the load. I'm sure he's doing that with the goals as well. He should be anyway. He's good enough. Oh my god, he's not even top scorer. Alvaro again is the top scorer. Top assist is Harrison Stewart though. He is the captain, so I expect a bit more. He also got outscored by Harvey Elliott from midfield. That's embarrassing. How are they doing in the league? Maybe they're doing better in the league. Yeah, they are top by 15 points. Mega gap between Atletico. They lost the Supercopa final and they didn't win the Copa de España. They got knocked out by Barcelona. That's tough, but let's see. Here we go. Can they convert a Champions League semi-final 
final? Can they get to another Champions League final in the year of a World Cup as well? This is the Bayern Munich team that defeated them before. Martinelli and Musiala still there running the show. Can we get through? Come on, boys. Okay, one all is enough. Elmas with the goal to send us through in the 82nd minute. What a result for Real Madrid. Back to the Champions League final. Please don't tell me we're going to lose. Okay, it's Bayer Leverkusen. I saw Sevilla was in the other semi-final, but of course they only won the Europa League, so I wasn't worried there. We did lose two of our last three games, though, which isn't very good. We beat Espanyol and we moved to Bayer Leverkusen. Here we go. This is the Bayer Leverkusen team. Openda, our old teammate, is now a Leverkusen player. They have a lot of talent, including Starman, Florian Wirtz. Let's see if we can do it in the Champions League final. Play match. I'm ready to go. And here we are, of all places, in the Estadio the Santiago Bernabeu for the Champions League final. Real Madrid's home stadium. They technically have home advantage. Can they convert finally? If they're going to win a Champions League final, it's got to be this one. Elmas on the ball coming forward for Real Madrid. Cuts back. Can he find anyone between the midfield and the defence? Into Alvaro, the top goal scorer. Alvaro for Real Madrid. Into Elmas. Into Stewart. Harrison Stewart. What a tackle by Upamecano. But Harrison Stewart again. He almost froze on that. Really weird. Kane, great run from Kane to Alvaro. Harrison Stewart. Got to be Sis to Schmidt's brilliant play for Real Madrid. Harrison Stewart unselfish, showing his captain qualities and a brilliant finish from Schmidt. Real Madrid in the Bernabeu, 1-0 up. And that is simply brilliant play from Los Blancos. Stewart with a chance to score, but he sets up Schmidt for the tap in straight down the middle. 1-0 to Real Madrid. Bayer Leverkusen chasing this game. Although they are playing quite an attacking formation, so you can expect goals in this game. This will not be the final action of this Champions League final. Gomez down the left wing. Here comes Gomez. Cuts to Wapenda. Any more passes? It's a Bernard. Chance for Leverkusen. And there's a the goal we are talking about. By a Leverkusen reply almost straight away. Brilliant finish from Bernard. Set up beautifully by the ex-teammate Lois Wapenda. And we are back to a level game. One all. Great finish from Leverkusen. Florian Wirtz coming forward. Great run from Wirtz, the captain, into Aria. Sets it out wide to Gomez. Can anyone get in the box for Gomez? Gomez back to Aria. Bayer Leverkusen very high up the pitch here. They have five or six men forward. Varea into Bernard. Is anyone going to get off his shoulder? Not quite. Bernard holds off his man with a shot. Hits the post. Second chance. And Bayer Leverkusen score. And to go in the lead. And guess who it is? Lois Opemda, the ex-Real Madrid player, scoring against his old club and setting Bayer Leverkusen on a victory course in the Bernabeu. Excellent shot. Feel like the keeper should be doing better. And at the back post, Opemda gets in there. That's poor defensively from Real Madrid. Alvaro on the ball. And that's half time. 2-1 to Bayer Leverkusen. Real Madrid with the opener, but Bayer Leverkusen fight back. A goal from Lois Alpenda, the ex-Real Madrid player as well, in the Estadio de Santiago Bernabeu, and it's 2-1 at halftime. I should say 1-2, really, because it's like Real Madrid at the home team, but for some reason, Bayer Leverkusen are on the left. 2-1 to Bayer going into halftime. Schmitz now, the Real Madrid number seven, into Harrison Stewart. Stewart on the edge of the box, holds off his man. Brilliant pass to Alvaro. Good save from the Leverkusen goalkeeper. Massive chance for the top scorer, Alvaro, but he doesn't get the finish off. And now here comes Leverkusen. Florian and Wirtz breaking a pace into Openda and he's got legs. Here we go. Leverkusen on the break. It's Openda cutting inside with Openda. What a finish. Lois Openda with a brilliant goal. Florian Wirtz with a brilliant assist. Almost got touched on the way into the nets as well, which would have been offside, but he got out the way and Openda with a second in the Bernabeu. Leverkusen with a commanding 3-1 lead. Real Madrid need two and they need it in about 35 minutes. I wonder if they'll be able to get through. Harrison Stewart, brilliant run through the middle into Elmas. What a move from Harrison Stewart and Elmas misses the chance. That's what happens when you don't play with quality teammates. Elmas, he blew that. He absolutely blew that. He should have put that away. That could be the chance for Real Madrid. If they score again and they lose this final, they'd be gutted because that would have been the chance that got away from them. Gomez now on the left wing. Bayer Leverkusen breaking again. If they score, it's going to be game over. Bernard, brilliant save from the goalkeeper. If they score there, there's no way Real Madrid would have come back. Real Madrid's keeper keeping them alive. Schmitz on the ball into Elmas. Elmas into Elmas into Stewart. Stewart tries to play Alvaro. Chance here for Alvaro with the shot. Another brilliant save from the Bayer Leverkusen goalkeeper. I can guarantee if Stewart was in the shooting position, he would have scored. Great header and it's in. Oh my God. Into the top corner. What a header from the centre back. And Real Madrid have a lifeline. Great cross from Stewart, of course. Still don't know why he's on the corners, but we'll let it slide. And an excellent header. Oh my God, between two men, he put it right in the top corner. Keeper gets a hand to it, but it's not enough. And it's 3-2. Real Madrid have a chance here. Surely not. 15 minutes to go. What a comeback this would be. Great run so far here from Okafor into Openda. Openda skips by Kumbedi. Openda still going. He's not going to bury this game alone, is he? Into Okafor, wide open. And that's it. That's going to be it. Bayer Leverkusen are probably going to win the Champions League. 
There is still time for Real Madrid, but the odds are... I put them at less than 5%. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone score two goals in 10 minutes. And if I have, it's been very rare. Great finish from Okafor. A setup again by Appenda. He's got two goals and an assist. He's having a brilliant time back at the Bernabeu. But Real Madrid struggling extremely at their home stadium. And all of a sudden, going 0-3 in the Champions League final is becoming a lot more real for Harrison Stewart. Alvaro still on the ball. Real Madrid still desperate. Elmas tries to shoot. Great tackle from Upamecano. Bayer Leverkusen are going to play out. Leverkusen hustle to win it back. Wirtz on the ball. Switch it out wide to Gomez. Last chance for Bayer Leverkusen to get a fifth. No chance for them. Game over. 4-2 in the Champions League final to Bayer Leverkusen in the Bernabeu. They win the Champions League title. Real Madrid and Harrison Stewart lose again. That's zero wins and three losses in the Champions League final for Harrison Stewart. Simply abysmal play from him. And the search for Champions League glory continues. But we still have the World Cup to do, so that'll be interesting. Of course, representing England, they lost in the round of 16 last time out to France. And he will be looking for redemption. Let's take this England job and see what the team's looking like in 2034. This is the front line. Phil Foden's regressed a little bit. He is 34, so we will cut him some slack. Stewart's still up front though, 99 everything, and Saka out on the right. In midfield, it's going to be Bellingham, Patino, and Mainu. Um, or Gray. No, it's going to be Mainu. I knew he fits better. Mark Gay's gonna start with Terry. Certainly not John Terry. I don't know. Rico Lewis starting one side, and Reese James, we can start him left back, and then the Nets to Trafford. It's actually kind of a weaker England team compared to other years. However, it's still gonna be ridiculously strong. Their group looks like this Ukraine, USA, and Croatia through the group stage. I think that's the easiest group stage we've seen them have. Actually, no, they had a really easy one in year one. Never mind. They beat Ukraine. They lose to the USA. Oh my God. And they draw with Croatia. That's enough. They have Argentina in the round of 16. That is tough as well. Argentina in the round of 16. This is their team. It's good. England haven't had really any luck in the round of 16. And Stewart has a red card. Brilliant. Okay, we can start Garner up front. He looks good. But I don't think he's better than the literal greatest player physically possible. Are we really going to win? They don't. They lose four to an extra time. Garnacho with a brace. The second coming of Ronaldo, according to some. And England's knocked out of the World Cup. Horrible. Another horrible display. We haven't got past the round of 16 once with the greatest player possible. This should not be... Like, this shouldn't exist. This shouldn't happen. Surely. Like, come on. To be fair, he wasn't playing. He got red carded. But it's his own fault for getting booked. Surely a perfect player never gets booked, right? Ballon d'Or has been announced. Are we going to go 11 Ballon d'Ors in? Yes, we are. Harrison Stewart. 11-time Ballon d'Or winner. Could have been 12 if it wasn't for Erling Haaland. Of course, Haaland would get in there at some point. Can you imagine my shock when I found out we weren't in the Champions League again? Shock horror. We got knocked out on penalties in the last round to Napoli. Got it. So we're staying in Real Madrid. Yay. Anyway, top of the Liga. Yeah, but barely. Valencia are right up our tails. We did win the Super Copa though. No Copa de España though again. I think we've only won it once or twice. And that is the Champions League semi-final. Leipzig, Dortmund, Bayern and Napoli. Three German teams. So that means every game for the remainder of this season is completely crucial. We must win. And we beat Betis, which is great. Las Palmas is also a win. Barcelona in a Clásico is a draw. We'll take that. Celta Vigo is a win. And Almeria on the final day is where we are. That's pretty good. What is it? 10 points from a possible 12. And we are tied top with Valencia. Barcelona there as well could theoretically win the La Liga title. Here we go. Must win against Almeria. And we draw. <laughs> And we've lost, right? Oh my god, we won! Oh, that's so lucky. Valencia drew as well. And we won the league. Perfect. We planned that out completely. What about Harrison Stewart, though, individually? 99 overall, 28 and 10. Tied top scorer with Alvaro, but he will get the goal scoring boot because he had the most assists. What about in La Liga, though? Who's the top scorer in La Liga? Will it be Harrison Stewart? No. Ansu Fati again, by the way, as well as Viper for Sevilla, Alvaro for Real Madrid, and then Stewart is down in seventh despite being literally flawless. This makes so much sense. I am so happy with myself. Ballon d'Or winner. Can we make it, what, 13? Yes, we can. Harrison Stewart wins the Ballon d'Or again. What year is it? 2035. So he's won one, two, three, plus the 10, 13 Ballon d'Ors. Minus one is 12. That's 12 Ballon d'Ors? I think it's 12. Okay, six more to go when I'm right. That means he needs to win every Ballon d'Or up until 2041. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, oh my God. He needs to win every Ballon d'Or up until and including 2041 for me to be right. That would leave him at what age? 35? Oh my God. I really hope he does it. I really, really hope he does it. Oh boy, look who's still here being garbage. It's Harrison Stewart, 24 and six. At least this time he was the top scorer though. Top assist for Alvaro. Again, he's balling, but he's 81 rated. He's garbage, but he's still carrying. Real Madrid are somehow fourth. Top of the league are Barcelona, but Real Madrid are only three points behind them 
them, so they have time to get back into this. Five games to go. They did win the Supercopa. They didn't win the Copa de España. And in the Champions League, they're not there. Barcelona have Celtic. Oh my god. Celtic knocks out Man United, Lille, and then they have Barca in the semi-finals. We got bounced by Valencia. Great. Another Spanish team knocking us out. But let's see if we can win the league. This would be insane. So four wins from four is what I expect. Levante is a win. Okay, good start. Betis. Betis is a win. Mallorca is a draw. Villarreal is a win. Okay. Three wins from a possible four. Ten points from a possible twelve. And we are... Oh my god, look at this final day. Look at this final day. Four teams all tied on 67 points. Three teams on the exact same record. 19, 10, and 8. We have the most goals for... We have the second least goals against. We have some of the best goal difference. It's not the best though. Sevilla have better goal difference. Villarreal is actually the worst, but they're still top somehow. I don't know how the La Liga works, but there's a chance for us to win the league. But we have to beat Alaves, which is actually kind of an easier game, I would expect. So here we go. Can we get a result against Alaves? A 5-0 win. And uh, yeah, Harrison Stewart didn't score a single goal. But I mean, we won 5-0, so uh, who really cares? Villarreal won as well though, so it doesn't matter. Just a quick check of the La Liga table. Oh my God! we're top okay i don't know how that works i don't know how that works but we're top barcelona ended up third by the way also on 70 points 70 points for first second and third but we get it on some technicality i'm sure probably because we won five nil maybe like head to head or something i don't know but we win the la liga title excellent stuff that's a really crazy end to the season. That might be the most insane end to a La Liga season I have ever seen. Look, I don't really know what's going on with Harrison Stewart's career, but we'll put it this way. He's breaking a lot less records than I thought he would break. Although, to be fair, he has got the Ballon d'Or record. He's got 12 at the moment, and he's still going. But I expected a bit better from a team standpoint. He's never won the Champions League. Never even got out of the round of 16 at the World Cup. And because of his Champions League failures, he's never been able to leave Real Madrid. He's just stayed there for the last 13 years, just being himself i suppose I, I don't really know he's just winning the ballon d'or and stuff but he's like not actually contributing as much as he should be i think anyway let's go to next season and see if we can finally win the champions league finally actually lift that silver trophy ballon d'or winner has been announced and yet again harrison stewart that gives him 13 ballon d'ors and zero champions league titles he's literally the most selfish player ever he's just a glory hunter he has to be hey 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 stewart is still here still good at football 22 and 7 he's now 31 years old by the way which is kind of scary he's getting old. Ugh, I don't like it. He needs to win the Champions League soon, but he's not going to do it if he doesn't qualify because they're in the Europa League places. Barcelona top 15 points ahead of Real Madrid. They did win the Copa de España though, finally, and they are not in the Champions League. They got knocked out to Inter Milan in the round of 16. This is horrific. Yeah, pretty bad. I actually feel like dirty. Like, I actually feel, like, sick. Like, by association. Like, I feel like I, I don't want to be associated with Harrison Stewart anymore. I might just sack this video off. Maybe I'll just quit. Anyway, Real Madrid are fourth in La Liga. If we win this game, we get Champions League qualification for next season. It's Real Oviedo, so it should be a win. It's a draw! And we fall to the Europa League. Don't worry, though. We're one year off the World Cup where we'll inevitably get bounced in the round of 16. I'm gonna guess it'll be Italy this time. Ballon d'Or, can we make it 14? Oh my god! No, no, Garnacho. Seriously, he's going to be the guy. Oh my God, that is brutal. That's actually brutal. So what, are we still on 12, 13 Ballon d'Ors? I think we're on 12 Ballon d'Ors. One went to Haaland, 12 went to us, and now Garnacho has one. Oh my God. God, you couldn't make this up. You couldn't make this up. That is so funny. The man to stop, the immortal, invincible football player is Alejandro Garnacho. That's so funny. Hey, 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 we're back. I think I said that last season. God, it's been so long. Top scorer is Harrison Stewart. Top assist is Alvaro again up top. He's a monster. And I'm talking about Alvaro, not Harrison Stewart. Real Madrid are top of La Liga, so they will qualify for the Champions League next year. But how are we doing in the Europa League? We got knocked out. We got knocked out. That's amazing by Aberdeen. Oh my god, that's a new low. This has to be rock bottom, right? This is rock bottom. Please tell me this is rock bottom. Won the Supercopa. Didn't win the Copa de España. Obviously, no Super Cup. These are the Champions League teams. Celtic there again. Let's go. I don't really have anything to say. Top scorer, though, in La Liga is Al Mutairi for Girona. Harrison Stewart's down in fifth with 19 goals. Still time left in the league, though. Let's close this out. We're going to have a Real Madrid Barcelona enter this league season, although Real are eight points clear. They should be pretty safe. I expect them to be anyway. Let's see. In the El Clasico, they lose 2 1.
no, that's not a very good sign. They did beat Espanyol, though, and they bet Mallorca, and they bet Betis, and then they lose to Valencia, but they should be good, right? They won the league? Yeah, they won the league. Only by two points, but it was enough. England's group for the World Cup in 2038. Northern Ireland, Ghana, and Norway. Two northern countries and Ghana. There's not really any relation there. Northern Ireland, there's a 2-0 win. Ghana is a win, I suppose. Yes, a 3-1 win. Norway, 2-0 win. There we go. Flawless in the group stage. This is looking a little bit more positive. I think I said Italy for my round of 16 knockout prediction. I hope I'm right. I hope I'm wrong. I actually want to play an easy team this time. This is the England team. Yeah, okay, Stuart is here. A little panic there for a second, but no, Stuart is here. We can start him actually on the right wing because we can play Davidson on the left. I think that fits a bit better. Patino starts midfield once again. Partridge starts the centre back. Rico Lewis and then Gardner and Nets. It's a good team. It's a very good England team. They could win the World Cup this year. And it is going to be Ghana in the round of 16. Okay, so my Italy prediction was completely wrong. And a team that they've already beaten in the group stage, they have in the round of 16 of the World Cup. They should be able to convert this. England versus Ghana is a 3-1 win. Stuart, Davidson and Patino with the goal. Stuart misses a penalty, but it doesn't matter in the end and England move on to face Italy. Oh my God, I predicted it. Kind of, I'll take that one. To be fair, they're one of the bigger nations that they haven't actually played against yet. And this is the Italy team. They have Endor and uh, nobody else. I guess he endured the test of time. Ah. Anyway, Bellingham's got a red card, which means we're going to lose. We can start Lewis Miley in there instead. Here we go. England versus Italy is a 2-1 win. Oh my God. Skarner with a goal and Stuart with a goal as well. England progressed to the semi-finals of the World Cup and they're going to be playing against Spain. Okay, that's tough. The other semi-final is, I think it's the USA versus Morocco, which is ridiculous. And this is the Spanish team. Yeah, really, really good. Balde is the only guy left. Oh, no, Fresneda as well. And Gavi, the captain out on the left wing. And this right here is the England team. Oh, I'm actually a bit nervous. I really want to win this. Come on, boys. Yes! Oh my God. Penalties. Oh my God. It counts. It counts. It counts. Okay. Stewart scored his penalty. England progress. Goal scorer in the game was Davidson and Balde. And we move to the World Cup final. And it's going to be England versus Norway. Haaland versus Stewart. Here we go. Actually, wait. Is Haaland even going to be picked for his team? No, he's not. Okay. But that's okay. It's England versus Norway. We have to watch this. And for this England team, from a tactical perspective, we're going to have Stewart starting out on the wing. He's six foot seven, but he's got 99 pace. He's not going to be impeded by starting on the wing at all. Don't worry about that. I cannot wait. Here we go. World Cup time. Is this the FIFA 17 foot champ stadium? It looks like it, doesn't it? I think it might be. Anyway, tip off in the World Cup final. Here we go. Norway versus England. The Vikings versus the Saxons, I guess. I don't really know. Not familiar with historical stuff. Lewis into Maynou. Maynou into Patino. Patino onto Davison. Davison onto Garner. Here we go. England with the first chance of the game. Garner, he doesn't shoot. Why don't he shoot? Seconds, not quite picked up by Lurvik. Ridiculous. Why didn't he shoot? Rico Lewis now down the left wing into Garner. Onto Davison. Davison. Back to Garner. No, back to Lewis. Into Maynou. Menu to Patino. Patino, brilliant play to Jude Bellingham. What a finish. England take a 1-0 lead in the World Cup final. Jude Bellingham, the captain and the role model, scores the goal. Brilliant finish from Jude Bellingham. And England go 1-0 up against Norway. Shelder up now into Lund. Shelder up's the only real player that's playing for Norway. Arnstadt onto Thomason, working really well. Norway with a chance. Big save. What a stop. And here comes Stewart. He's angry. He's pissed off that Garnacho took his Ballon d'Or. He's angry. He's got 12, but he wants 13. Damn it. Here we go. Garner coming forward. Garner still on the ball. Garner. Garner. Still Garner. Good save. Bellingham wins the header, though. Onto Stewart. Stewart still. Stewart back to Bellingham. Bellingham back to Stewart. Stewart with a shot. Stewart with a goal near post. Bellingham with a goal and an assist. But Harrison Stewart finally in a big game. Scores when his team needs him the most. And it's 2-0 to England. Here we go. We're looking good now. We're looking good finally to win a final. I mean, we won the Conference League, but we don't really care about the Conference League. This is the World Cup final. And Stewart, Harrison Stewart may just win it. Finally. It's about time. It took Messi a while to win the World Cup and he's the GOAT. Harrison Stewart should have been able to do it a bit easier than this, though. And there we go. Half time the World Cup final, 2-0 to England, and they are looking brilliant. Goals from Bellingham and Stewart, the 12-time Ballon d'Or winner, and we move to the second half. No delays here, no holds barred. Here we go. This is our chance to win the World Cup. Norway almost running down the clock here. They're trying to pick their chances, but England are so solid as a unit that they can't break through. Here we go. Arnstadt, great ball into Thomason. Norway moving well now. Shelter up out on the left wing. Back to Thomason with a shot. Good save from Gardner and Nets. Davison cutting inside. Davison holds off his man into Patino. Back out to Davidson, lets the ball run. Into Garner. 
Garner holds off into Patino. Patino slices through. What a finish from Patino. That's 3-0 to England, and that's going to be it. England will be the world champions for the second time ever in 2038. Norway trying to stop them, though. Arnstadt with a start. Another good block from England. Kept a clean sheet in this game so far. Impressively as well, I must say. Arnstadt with the shot. Ball gone. Gardner lets it run. Norway look tired. Norway look out of ideas. England running down this clock. Finally. It's been so long. The Shelda comes onto the pitch for Henriksen. But it literally doesn't matter. We have lost three finals already. Four if you include the Europa League. We've been horrific in the World Cup. But now, for whatever reason, it's just all come together so well. Garner holds off his man. And that is the final action of the 2038 World Cup. England are world champions. Harrison Stewart has finally won a trophy of significance. It has been done. Thank God. Okay. The best player physically possible does win the World Cup. And he scores in the final as well, which is excellent. But there's still one thing missing you all know what it is the champions league title is not there you can do it for your country but can you do it for your club but for tonight we can enjoy the champions league celebrations but tomorrow when we wake up we have a new mission on our hands champions league glory or bus as the greatest player of all time and ballon d'or winner yeah there we go 13 ballon d'ors that's a bit more of a return to form i don't think we're gonna hit 18 to be completely honest but i will take 13 at a bare minimum harrison stewart once again the ballon d'or winner but now we may begin to start see some regression which i'm a bit concerned about let me just look him up quickly here he is 32 years old yeah down to a 98 overall the regression has begun he's down to a 98 in every single stat apart from his goalkeeping stats that's so weird and if the regression has begun that means the time is ticking for his champions league glory it's got to happen surely it's got to happen there's no way he's the best player physically possible he's better than messi he's better than Ronaldo. he's better than everyone surely at some point he has to win the champions league title back at real madrid obviously still here 98 overall now though 21 and 8 on the year tied top scorer with thomason who he must have played with or against i should say in the world cup final he was top assists as well though so definitely dominant at the club but still i don't know just to be doing a little bit better real madrid sixth though that's abysmal really really bad 20 points almost off sociedad at the top lost the super cup of final no Copa de España either champions league no luck round of 16 bounced by arsenal top of the group though which is amazing for nobody because nobody cares anyway still time left in the league they still have a couple of games to go they are sixth so currently they're on track for conference league and drawing with barcelona is okay but we kind of need some results now and they lose for atletico which isn't great and they beat betis which is good almeria is also a win granada should be a win too and it is 4-1 is amazing Villarreal on the last day of the season is a 2-1 win that might be enough and they are fifth so yes, we qualify for the Europa League next year instead of the Conference League, which just makes me so happy. This team is actually kind of garbage now, to be honest. I'm not very happy with it at all. Yeah, this team is like kind of bad, to be honest. It's better than it was last time, to be honest, but still, Europa League football is not good enough. We need the Champions League dream to come through. It really should. He hasn't left Real Madrid, by the way, for his whole career because he's too valuable and nobody can afford him. But if he did get away, he'd probably have won the Champions League. I feel kind of bad. But at the same time, it's kind of his own fault. He's been to three finals and he's not won a single one. So you know, I don't really know what to tell him. There is still time, though, and I believe it. I believe in it. He will win the Champions League. Back to the Ballon d'Or. Can we make it 14? No. Oh, dear. It could be over. Who won the Ballon d'Or? Alex Santos for Chelsea. Don't know who he is, but he's better than the best player ever. Well, to be fair, he's no longer the best player ever because he used to be the best player ever and now he's regressed. So he's down to a 98, as we know, but how much further will he fall this season? I'm going to say he's down to a 96 overall. Also, because he didn't win the Ballon d'Or this year, he could just never win the Ballon d'Or again. Perfectly possible. And that would be sad. 13 Ballon d'Ors, though, is good. I, yeah, yeah. But he did win one at 17 and I've been sacked. Amazing. Still no Champions League, I don't think. Nope, no Champions League because we were in the Europa League and we got knocked out by Eindhoven. Ridiculous. But we are top of the La Liga, which is good. But let's have a look at our Europa League situation. Yeah, 5-4 to Eindhoven. It's just horrendous. Semi-finals are West Ham, Bergamo Calcio, which is Atalanta, PSV and Manchester United and not Real Madrid. Not even good enough to make it there. Our Champions League competition for next season, should we make it, would be Inter, PSG, Leverkusen, who beat us in the Champions League final in our home stadium and Valencia. Nothing more embarrassing than that. However, for us, I'm still a 98 overall here 
here with Harrison Stewart, which is good despite being 34. 20 and 9. Thomason was the top scorer. Nielsen with the top assists. He's kind of falling a little bit back into the pack, it feels like, which is a little bit concerning considering he's still 98 overall. The man's still a monster. Still very good at the whole football thing and still like better than everyone on planet Earth by far. But it's just a bit of a shame, to be honest. We're into 2040 now. The World Cup is in two years and I wonder, will he get picked for the World Cup team? I wonder what how good he'll be or I don't know if he's like too old to get picked because sometimes players that are good enough just don't get picked because they're considered as too old which is kind of dumb anyway Real Madrid win 4-0 against Betis and they beat Villarreal and they beat Atletico Madrid and they beat Girona now they lost to Girona but what about Getafe on the final day can they close out the La Liga season with a win yes they can and the title as well yes he's actually got quite a few La Liga titles I'm not quite sure how many I'm sure someone will do the maths in the comments he's got enough of those though we don't really care about that we just want a Champions League title we are crying begging for one we've been to three finals we've lost them all and we just want one trophy lift that's it oh did i miss the ballon d'or are you serious wait that makes no sense it was on the 5th of november a couple of years ago and now i'm at the 5th of november and it's not here that makes no sense the ballon d'or nominees and the ballon d'or ceremony is a joke cancel the ballon d'or no but seriously the ballon d'or's not here i can't look this is crap but to be honest i don't think harrison stewart would have won it he's regressing quite a lot and uh, yeah i think his time is kind of over he's on the way down i don't even think he'll get picked for his world cup team in 2042 even though he'll still be over 90 rated so i'm kind of hoping he, i don't know i I'm, I'm kind of hoping he's still there of course but i don't think he will be hey guys guess what we have ibrahimovic playing for us but he's a cam and he's 35 and german yeah he's not that good rico lewis is here though world cup winner with stewart which is cool he's still 98 overall by the way don't really know what's going on with him maybe he will get picked for his world cup team after all scoring wise 18 and 9 which i mean it's, yeah, it's fine, but you're 98 overall. I'd expect a bit better, I, I think. But anyway, moving on to the standings in the league. They are fifth. Fighting for Europa League again. Hooray. What about the Champions League? How are they doing? They are not in the quarterfinals. They got bounced in the round of 16 again, just like every other year. Munchen Gladbach doing well. Let's finish out this league season in one fell swoop. Levante is a win. Betis is a draw. Alaves is a draw. Getafe is a draw. Valencia is a loss. Granada is a win. Sevilla is a win. Can we end? with a win against Cadiz. Yeah, there we go. A 2-1 win. Should be enough for Champions League. Yeah, scraping in there into fourth place, but we take it. Top of La Liga this season was Celta Vigo with 81 points. What a season for them. We lost the Supercopa final, but we won the Copa de España again, which is cool, I guess. Again, no Champions League, so I don't really care. No, next year as well will be the World Cup. That I am excited for. Where's Stuart in the top scoring? 13th with Real Madrid. 16 goals in 38 games. For 98 overall player, that's not good enough. Let's go to the end of next year and see how we're doing. Ballon d'Or winners in for 2041 and it is okay. Harrison Stewart's won another Ballon d'Or. I'm just going to assume he won the one last year then because he won this one as well. That would give him how many Ballon d'Ors? What, 18 up for grabs? No, 19 up for grabs, right? 19 up for grabs. He's lost three. So he has 16 Ballon d'Ors. He's two off 18. He's two off 18. He could actually get 18, which would be ridiculous. Let's go to May and see if they're in the Champions League. World Cup is on this year as well. I want to see if he's still in the England team. He definitely should be, but I, I don't know. FIFA's weird, man. We're in the Champions League. Champions League! Oh my god, I dropped my controller! Finally, okay, I didn't think this would happen. Okay, Juventus, first leg, come on, please do well. Two all draw, that's okay. Oh no, okay, <laughs> oh god, I'm nervous. Okay, uh, let me just let this sit and ruminate for a bit. Let me just enjoy Real Madrid being in the Champions League semi-final once again, just for a little bit longer. In the La Liga, we're second, so we'll qualify next season. It's mad that I even have to worry about that. Didn't win any domestic cups, obviously no Super Cup, but I don't care. Okay, here we go. This has to be it. This is our chance. This is our chance. This is the Juventus team. I know nobody. I know nobody on that team. Here we go. Stewart's down to a 97. I don't really care. Come on, boys. Please. Yes! Oh, my God! And Stewart with the goal. It's a 1-0 win. And we're into the Champions League final. And we are going to watch it. Are we going to go 0-4? Or are we finally going to win the Champions League? It's going to be PSG on the final day. Please. I'm begging. Uh, I, 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 yeah. That's exactly how I feel. Just a quick check. Is Mbappe still playing football? Because he could well be. No, he's not. It's just a bunch of auto-generated players. And here we go. We also have a red card on Kamara, which kind of sucks. But we can start Dragovic. Rico Lewis starts as well because of a red card. And that's it. Here we go go. Champions League final time. Let's play. Here we go. Real Madrid versus PSG in the Olympia Stadion for the Champions League final. Harrison Stewart has been here three times before and he's lost here three times before. Finally, can he win Europe's biggest prize? 
Oh my god, it's been so long. He's like 35 at this point. He's almost halfway through his life and he still hasn't won the Champions League. Like, what are you doing? There he is on the TIFO. He's a Real Madrid legend. He's a, what, 14, 15, 16-time Ballon d'Or winner. Can he win the Champions League for the very first time? Here we go. Real Madrid starting fairly strong. Kramer on the ball. Sets back Ibrahimovic, not Zlatan. Into Kramer again with a shot. Good block. Picked up by Stewart. Sets back Ibrahimovic. Back to Stewart. Stewart drive past one. Wins a corner. Good start from Real Madrid. They start strong and fast, as they should. Stewart is still on the corners, by the way, despite being 6'7", big body. Yeah, you really need to fix this. Stewart whips it into the box. Any winners on the head, Dragovic gets cleared. Kramer on the ball, sets back Stewart. Chance for Stewart, doesn't shoot. Sets back Dragovic, good block from PSG. Kramer on the ball, sets back Rico Lewis. Onto Stewart, Harrison Stewart, out wide to Dragovic. <sighs> Not quite working out, good tackle from Torres. PSG defending really well. Either way, they move forward on the pitch now. This is their first attack. Ibrahim down the right wing, coming forward. Looking really good, actually. Finding gaps in the Real Madrid defense. Ibrahim, it's a Santos! Oh, oh no. No, 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 this can't happen. Santos with a brilliant finish and PSG take a 1-0 lead. Okay, come on, Harrison Stewart. You've been here before and now is your time. It has to be now. It's now or never because after this, you're going to regress severely. You win the Champions League now and you are a legend forever. Come on, great ball into Stewart. Can Stewart turn and find anyone? Moving through the paces. Here we go, moving up the gears into Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic with the shot. What a finish from Ibrahimovic. Assist by Harrison Stewart and Real Madrid are a level. PSG are running away with this one. Real Madrid with a goal and to be honest it's deserved based on the pressure they put on in this first half Ibrahimovic on the ball breaking for Real Madrid can they snatch another goal before half time great pass from Ibrahimovic through to Kramer here comes Kramer coming forward for Real Madrid Kramer on the ball Kramer doesn't shoot turns back sets back Dragovic back to Kramer with a shot great save Kramer is offside he has squandered that opportunity Torres on the ball for PSG great pass to Santos into Lopez can PSG find a chance before this end of the first half that'll be against the run of play good block Real Madrid play out last touch for Stewart and we're going to go into half time what a half football it's been. Ridiculous stuff. Real Madrid go down at the break despite being on top for the majority of the game. And they snatch a goal back through Ibrahimovic off the assist from Stewart. Even in this game, Real Madrid dominating, but PSG took their chance and it's 1 all. Santos, oh, skins his man up to Lopez. Lopez, good shot, good save. He could have squared that. PSG could be 2 1 up if he squared it, but no, he took the shot alone. And PSG and Real Madrid remain at 1 all. That was close. Bianchi on the ball for PSG. Bianchi to Remy. Remy to Santos. Santos Lopez, great play into Gibbs. Chance for PSG. What a finish from Gibbs. Brilliant finish from the Parisian winger. And PSG take a 2-1 lead. Real Madrid have 25 minutes to save their Champions League legacy. Up to the year 2023, they've been the best club in the Champions League. But now, for whatever reason, they're just garbage. 0-4 in the finals, maybe. They currently are. They're losing this one. They need a goal, and they need it from Harrison Stewart. He's supposed to be the GOAT. They all said he would be. Real Madrid captain since the age of 17, 18, but he still never won the Champions League. I don't know how. Stewart with a brilliant run. Burst through the defense. Stewart, he shoots. He scores. Mega finish from Stewart. Just when his team need him the most. And we're even. This is different. This is completely different. This is not a Harrison Stewart we've seen before. This is a man on a mission. This is a 16-time Ballon d'Or winner proving why he's the best. This could be Real Madrid's chance, finally, to win the Champions League. There's still time left in this game. Can they get a winner? And will it be Harrison Stewart? Ha Ibrahimovic now on the ball, moving forward, out to Laporte. Can Laporte find gaps in this PSG defense who have been shaky at the best of times in this Champions League final? May I remind you, Rico Lewis to Dragovic. Back to Rico Lewis. Real Madrid move well. Rico into the box. Nobody's there. Second ball on the edge of the box for Ibrahimovic. Picked off well. Now PSG come with a break into Gibbs. Tackled well. Rico Lewis tracking back and now Real Madrid come forward Dragovic plays through Rico Lewis chance here for Rico Lewis big save oh my god what a sequence that was that was basically all Rico Lewis the whole way up and down the pitch into Gilles over to Santos here come PSG Santos they're not going to steal this in the 90th are they great tackle from Kelly and he's cleared it and that might be it for this game can PSG get the ball forward are they going to have time I don't know no they're not and we're going to move to extra time thank goodness I was a bit nervy there at the end but we're okay and here we go for Real Madrid Let's go into the Champions League's final extra time. I don't think we've ever been here before with Harrison Stewart. And if we have, we all know how it ended poorly because he lost. Saavedra chested up to himself. Oh, cheeky little flick. That works into Stewart. 
Stewart tries to turn his man, doesn't work. Into Saavedra, into Laporte. Laporte skins his man! Good save from Claxon and Nets. Actually, Claxon and Nets looks absolutely tiny, but he's made some good saves tonight, so I'll give him his credit. Santos on the ball, moving forward into Lopez. Surely not. It's going to be PSG moving forward. Lopez sets back anyone. No, he goes alone. Great block. Real Madrid pick up the scraps, move forward, and move to the end of the halftime of extra time. Oh my god. What a half it's been. Ridiculous. Real Madrid with a chance. PSG with an even bigger one. And now we move to the last 15 minutes of the game. This is it. Champions League victories. Champions League defeats. They're made in these 15 minutes. It all comes down to this. And if they still can't be split, then we move to the dreaded penalty shootout. Something that I really don't want to face. I don't know if I'll be able to. All this simulation with Harrison Stewart developed a bit of an emotional connection. As much as I haven't wanted it to happen because he's been so garbage. So if he doesn't win this penalty shootout, I might be an emotional wreck or just dissociate completely. I don't know. Of course, they still want nine, eight minutes to go. Come on, Rico Lewis into Dragovic. Back to Jakobsen. Great football. Into Kramer. To Laporta. Can he find anyone through? Laporta sets back Dragovic. Great ball to Rico Lewis. They're playing brilliant football. Ibrahimovic holds off his man to Dragovic. Dragovic clips it in. Anyone there? Not quite. Cleared well. Jakobsen looking for a pass. Rico Lewis. Lewis skins his man down the line. Tries to play a pass. Doesn't work. Tries to win it back. Gets bodied and gets the ball back anyway somehow. There's still time here for Real Madrid. Here we go. Stewart on the ball. Harrison Stewart cuts inside. Great ball into Kramer. Kramer to Ibrahimovic. Loses possession with a horrible touch. And unfortunately, we're going to go to penalties, are we? Yes, we are. Oh my God. Here we go. Penalty shootout for the legacy of Harrison Stewart, the greatest player of all time. Here we go. Stewart on the penalty. Please put it away. Bury the top corner. Great start. Harrison Stewart with a great pen. Lopez up next. Scores well. Bottom right. Brilliant finish. And now Laporte. Come on. Please, please, please put it away. Yes. Love it. Okay. There's nothing more Harrison Stewart can do from this point on. It's just his team. See if they can take him through. Ibrahim makes no mistake. Four penalties from four. We are due a miss. And is it going to be Ibrahimovic? No, it's not. That penalty is horrendous, but it counts. Sandoval steps up now for PSG. Is he going to slot on the way? Lovely finish. Keeper guesses right, but doesn't get there. Six from six. As I said, we are due a miss. Kramer slams it. Brilliant save from Clarkson. Oh, no. Surely not. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. No, no. You can't do You can't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Great finish from Dragovic. Here we go. Gilles on the penalty. You can't do this to me. No. Saved! Oh my god! Oh my god! We're still in this! Jakobsen puts the penalty away! Here we go! Come on! End this now! Hassan and Nets! Please save this from Torres! Save! Oh my god! Real Madrid won the Champions League! Oh my god! Finally! Harrison Stewart, the Champions League winner. All that suffering, all that pain. More or less 20 years of hurt. And in his 20th season of professional football, finally, Harrison Stewart wins the Champions League. Oh my God, he's won in three in finals, but he's done it now. It's over. Real Madrid are Champions League winners. Harrison Stewart is a Champions League winner. Oh my God, finally. I didn't think it was ever gonna happen. I really didn't. But finally, everything's been conquered. Harrison Stewart wins the Champions League. Here we go for Harrison Stewart, Real Madrid captain, and now a Champions League winner. Oh my God, all the years of pain and suffering over in an instant. Harrison Stewart conquers the European mountain and wins himself the Champions League trophy that he so desperately desired on penalties in such dramatic fashion over PSG. He has done it finally. Just for clarification, before getting to the uh, Ballon d'Or, uh, yeah, Harrison Stewart didn't make the World Cup team despite winning the Ballon d'Or and uh, getting to the Champions League final. Kind of stupid. Actually, very stupid. It makes literally no sense. And he will win the Ballon d'Or again, I suppose, to get 17 Ballon d'Or? Yes, he will. 17-time Ballon d'Or winner Harrison Stewart oh my god I could be right you know it could actually be 18 or it could reach 20 if he reaches 20 Ballon d'Ors I'll, I'll shave my head I, I don't mean that I don't mean that at all don't hold me to that Champions League winners but we cannot retain the title we lose to Inter Milan but I don't care Champions League is out the window everything's out the window and our boy is down to a 96 overall 37 years old 24 and 8 is very good but I'm expecting big dips 6, 7, 8 overall in the coming seasons because he stayed really high rated for a really long time so don't expect it to last standings wise they are 5th as well looking like a Europa League 
League place. Almeria, top of La Liga by 15 points. Mega for them. Who knocked us out of the Champions League? Oh, we already know it was Inter Milan. I'm a dumbass and should retire from FIFA. We won the Super Copa. We lost the Copa de España. And we lost the Super Cup. That sucks, man. Leverkusen again getting in our way, but it's okay. Top scorer this season in La Liga ends up being Ramos for Almeria. They smashed it this year. Wow. So let's just sim out the rest of this season. The last game of the season is against Girona. And to be honest, I don't really mind. I feel like all missions are complete. I feel like there's not much more I can really do. I feel like I'm really happy with how this simulation has now come to a kind of end, I suppose. But we're going to go for 18 Ballon d'Ors. They finished second in La Liga. Champions League guaranteed for next season. Let's see how they get on. Ballon d'Or winner. Will it be 18? Yes! 18. Come on. Harrison Stewart gets 18 Ballon d'Ors. My prediction is correct. Now I hope he doesn't win anymore so I can be proved right and my ego can be satisfied. Let's go to 2044, which is one of the longest simulations I have done ever. I've been recording now for four and a half hours, which isn't actually that long compared to some of my simulations. And uh, we'll see how Harrison Stewart is doing. Back at Real Madrid, 96 overall. So still really good at football. The regression I expected hasn't really happened. He's still the top scorer at Real Madrid and he's 38. The longevity is like ridiculous. Only match by LeBron, tied on points with Barcelona and the duo of Barcelona to play. Let's finish up this season and see if Real Madrid can win another La Liga title. They do lose to Barcelona, so they're now three points behind, but they draw with Girona, which isn't great. And they draw with Villarreal. It's not looking good. Mallorca is a loss. There's no way they're going to win La Liga over Barcelona, especially with a 2-1 loss to Getafe as well. They end up second. Again, Champions League qualification. We will take that. In the Champions League, they have Newcastle Man City in the Champions League final. All English affair. North versus North as well, I suppose. They'll also Juve in the quarterfinals. Could be a lot worse, I suppose. Top scorer this season in La Liga is Amos for Getafe. And Stewart is down in 14th with 14 goals. I suppose that's appropriate. He is getting old. He's also 38. The regression is going to hit like a truck in about a year or two. Let's see what happens next season. Ballon d'Or 2044. Is he going to make it 19? No, he's not. He's been superseded by a blonde haired man. Herman Pedersen for Newcastle United. That's right. Newcastle United have a Ballon d'Or winner on their hands. Harrison Stewart is down to a 90 overall and retiring at the end of the season. Oh my God, man. You're 90 overall. You really don't need to be retiring. 22 and 13 in your final season. Not top scorer. That goes to Bruno Fernandes, but he was top assist. 22 and 13 is wild for the World Cup and Champions League winner standings. They finish top of the league. Well, six points clear with five games to go, but it is looking good. Let's finish out the final season of Harrison Stewart's career on a high. Two wins and a draw, followed up by another draw. A win against Bilbao will win them the La Liga title, and they finish it out with a 2-0 win. That'll be that, and they will be La Liga champions. And that's it for Harrison Stewart. What a career it has been for the purple-haired Messi. Well, better than Messi. What a career it's been for the purple-haired Messiah. Better at dribbling than Messi, better at shooting than Ronaldo, better at goalkeeping than Thibaut Courtois and Manuel Neuer. And still, only one Champions League to his name. He won the World Cup as well. He won everything there was to win. And he became the greatest player of all time with that Champions League win over PSG in 2042. However, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this one where I took Messi and Ronaldo and made them teammates for their entire career. No separation at all. They were together the whole way up. It was a great video. Thank you so much for watching this one.